Oh yeah, one, two, Hi three, guys. go. No. Hi guys. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Midi Nancy, and here is my friend Ifeo. My name is Ifeo, and we're at August State Orientation Camp in Shagam. So today is our last day. Yay! We are traveling back so home excited. tomorrow. We are so excited. And so today we just, just want, want to show you guys around because this is a five-star camp yeah, yeah. in Nigeria. It's one the of the best, best in Nigeria. One in of the Nigeria. best. But they always call it the best in yeah. Nigeria. And then, do you doubt that? No, actually, not really. no we don't like, doubt. It's actually a nice an extent. place. Well, we are going to leave you guys to judge. So keep watching. Enjoy. the entrance gate we are not going to walk to the gate because it's quite far and we are tired what do you think so i'm just going to show you the gates so normally they don't allow public transport station system any type of public transport to come inside these gates the day we got here on 1st of september initially we just had to we just stopped outside and then there were soldiers there were ncdc officials that just searched our boxes and gave us COVID-19. No, we, we went through a COVID-19 test and if your test comes out negative, you can come inside. But if your test is positive, I really don't know what they did to those Yeah. So from the gates, we moved to those white tents. I hope you can see white tent where your, your stuff gets checked again. And then if you are with any contraband, like what? Can you mention some of the Like fog. Like fog. I wonder why fog is contraband. For batteries, laptops, um, yeah. extension yeah. boxes yeah. and stuff knives knives and all those kind of like ample metallic um, objects they'll be taken from you and then you have to document it okay okay i enjoy it so far so this are the water um, taps or plastic taps i don't know if you can see there's so many like more than 40, more than 40 like more than and then, more than 60 yeah, around the old camp because it's a very 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 big place if you look ahead you see the stadium that's another way that's another entrance entirely like we cannot go there because it's very big but then you're going to see some clips that we already took at the stadium, stadium. so this is our parade ground this is where we come every 4 30. <laughs> We hardly sleep. Like, how did we so? How did we survive? It's been God. You know, the first week was really. It was hell. Stress. First week was hell. So this is our parade ground. We start. Um, we stand on this parade ground from like five. five we leave ourselves seven, by four thirty, and we start like, like some people leave four thirty, some yeah. four twenty, four fifty, and you know we just start praise and worship, and uh, Muslims go for their prayers at the mosque, and we stay here till like. Till like almost 7 8, 7.50, yeah. 7.55. Here we just basically march and prepare for like some other unnecessary things that could have been scrapped off actually. Then that, those are wash and bills. Like wash and stuff, like a tap side. I oh. zoomed it already. And then actually during games and sports, we use this place as the like football football pitch. We have also. like two football pitches. Yes, one, one here and one at the stadium. Yeah. So this is um, like football pitch and that side is the volleyball court and okay this side is, this is the multi-purpose hall and it's a whole entire thing we cannot go there because it's quite far i just want to just show you the beautiful environment and then yeah let's keep going towards the clinic side follow us hi oh it's zoomed hi hello okay okay so this was our platoon leader say hi Matty. hi <laughs> Okay, this is our platoon leader, and he just kind of found us on the way. So, this is the admin block. Well, obviously, it's already the name is like well stated. This is where administrative stuff go on, and that is where the um, OBS studio. What's OBS again? Orientation Broadcasting Service. That's where their studio is. That's where we get like information about this and 
that much and that's the clean. Very beautiful and it's like a five star clinic. So mm. we were very privileged to have this clinic. Actually, very very <laughs> as in and looking at that side, that's the entrance to the stadium and we are not going there. So I think maybe that's if our we, manual training ground. Uh, yeah, that's the manual training side, that bushy pattern. If you just keep going, you get to the manual, the manual village. village, yeah. So let's just turn around and keep going to our hostel. Okay, so just like we left the clinic and administrative building side, this side is like I think a storage or warehouse where they keep like our kids, like NYC, Kaki, Crested Vest, and that was where they got everything. Then this way leads to the kitchen. So we've been punished before because we actually crossed the lawn and then we don't want to do that anymore. So we won't be showing you like details the kitchen. I said earlier this is the way to the kitchen but this place is like the army quarters that's where the like disciplinary committee leave this and decide these are possibly offenders so it's for them to be they are offenders maybe they they did something they shouldn't have done i wouldn't know but i think they actually stayed back in the hotel white holders we could have also been culprits because we didn't want to come out but then that spirit just said get up and get out <laughs> and we went out and then we're, not, we're lucky enough not to be part of them so I don't know the punishment that is going to be accorded to them but here is this very beautiful something that I've never seen before until I got here I'm not lying I know it might be popular in some other places but I have never seen it before this is a mobile ATM ATM is machine already There's okay machine mobile already. ATM yes yeah, mobile ATM powered by access bank powered by access bank so basically it has two like ATM ports this one, one. that is locked and then there's another one at the other side to the very big there's another entrance here so yep so then that's, that's oh that's like just part of the administrative behind, building yeah. just behind yeah, yeah. we also do yeah. administrative stuff yeah there can you see that the environment is so serene nice. beautiful calm the, the, the hair is even very nice they like waste basket yeah waste baskets yeah. everywhere and just like you said earlier like taps to wash your hands because of covid so, this is like the male hostel these are the male hostels it's everything is all encamped like inside one particular building but it's long can you see like long long long, long. and that's female hostel from there to there like the hostels are embedded inside let's go to mommy let's okay. just show them what mommy looks like Hope you've been enjoying the video and now we are on our way to mommy cutters mommy mommy village. Market. okay mommy market yeah ours is mommy market basically mommy market is where we buy basically everything everything anything there's you nothing you anything need if you need edo costume attire you need for the rent e um, ebbo attire for rent you need even for sale even for sale yeah but it's just Good. at a very high price like everything in mommy is high priced so basically the food they give us at the kitchen mm, we're not complaining here but the food is not like the best it's not something you would actually eat at home it's, oh, not, okay. it's not a three square it's not it's like a three square it's meal, a three square but meal but the, quality, yeah. the quality is not so 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 then basically if you're not satisfied with that you can easily yeah. go to the mommy and eat whatever you get want refilled, you get refilled get refilled no even refilled like you can choose Instead not to eat fresh. yes you can choose not to eat the one that they, you are served with and you just buy with your money but that's expensive so basically we actually throughout our stay like for the past 20 days we just try to rationalize yeah. like our spendings and our and meal, eating yeah. and the meal and then we also came here initially with provisions yes we came with like conflict golden one biscuit, biscuit tea, tea and milk and yeah. beverages just beverages something to just sustain us while we like cannot go to mommy and cannot go to kitchen so sometimes um from the kitchen let's say we have been served we I mean, from the kitchen we are served three times yeah. breakfast lunch and dinner yeah. so if we feel like we don't feel like eating if we feel like we don't pop. like uh, yeah like today they served um for breakfast beans and pap and we didn't want beans and pap so okay. we decided to go and get rice at mommy yeah. for like 500 600 yes so that's like our minimum like amount of food that we can buy at mommy like 500 600 but if you want like 
expensive one. Like you can get turkey for can get, 700. Yes. But if you want expensive food, like 700, 800, 1,000 and above. It's so, sure 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. That's it, 1,000 and above. Yeah. So basically, what minimum um, food we eat at Mami, like for a, like just one time, like breakfast or lunch or dinner is like 600 or 500 basically. sometimes. Like if you take no juice, it's 500. So imagine if we don't eat at the kitchen at all and we don't have provisions at all and we keep eating at mommy every day, morning, afternoon, night. That's three times a day Aside and water. three times, let's say 20 days. That's, you know, let's just say we are eating 600 Naira food morning, afternoon 600 and night 600. That's like 1,800 in a day and 1,800 times 20. That's aside water and other daily things that we need like drinks or whatever. So it was really not worth it. So, but then we were lucky that sometimes maybe some of our colleagues, like male colleagues, maybe if they just meet us at Mami and we are eating, they could just pay for our food even when we decline like strongly decline because we always decline but still they wouldn't take no for an answer so we sometimes we can hit at the um, kitchen once in a day out of three and oh, then we we'll buy yes yeah, sometimes we don't eat at all at the, mami, yeah. at the kitchen and then we we'll buy food twice and eat provisions once yeah. so we just try to like balance rationalize. everything up rationalize oh we're already at mommy so let's just show you what it looks like already <laughs> Okay, so should we start with the first? We don't want to go closer, so they don't they don't feel um like uncomfortable by exactly. the presence of the camera, and you know we don't want to ask for permission because from afar it's really nice. So this part is the laundry. This first part, they basically they are women. Wash they come to the hostel, wash clothes, one clothes for hundred naira. Like this Just our top, hundred naira. Then they short, hundred naira. Then your two pairs of socks, hundred naira, and your shoes, two pairs, of, one pair of shoe. No, 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 a pair of socks, 100 naira, a pair of shoe, 100 naira, like a I pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah, I don't have an idea. So, I've shoe. never washed clothes with them because most people complain about missing their clothes. Yeah, the and only time we even try to There's like a nonchalant attitude, like with the women, when they miss your clothes, they don't even give explanations and they just tell you, sorry, we can't find it. And then, and but some people are so lucky that they um, actually got their clothes. So after that, we have the barbing salon. I don't know if you can see, the barber is kind of barbing someone's hair right now. Oh, the barber is cutting someone's hair right now. And beside the, um, the barber, we have like an ironing. It's still laundry, still actually. Laundry, yeah. So all this side, but let's just say laundry, like male laundry people that just um, iron clothes, dry clean, washing machine, and iron it and then return it. This side, I think, is a kind of storage space for drinks and like water, water and stuff. Then this place is like, Come to the restaurant side. This is the restaurant. Mama Oge. She, uh, my friend ate there once, but I've never eaten Mama Oge's food. So if you ever come to this camp, have fun. And there is the deeper. And the deeper, like this place at night. Oh, at night. You wouldn't even recognize the place, but I've never been there, like inside. No. Then this place, like um, double portion. Mm. Mm. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. And this one, I think it's Mama Ungozi. Okay, and this place is Bliss. Basically, we eat here mostly Bliss because it's affordable. We eat rice and sometimes swallow, like pound of yam and um, fufu amala. I've eaten amala there before yeah, once. Eba. So if you're not Nigerian, like hamala, pound of yam, eba, they are like just African dishes. So, and we take rice there too and some other things. Whenever we don't want to go to the kitchen, we come to all these places to buy food. So this is another bar called Arewa Bar. And Arewa Bar and Pepper Soup joint. We came to this place yes, yesterday yeah. night with some of our colleagues because we wanted to do like a gyration for our platoon. We are in platoon four, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we had like a celebration, like get together. And so we came here. We were outside here. We sat outside here. And then it was not bad. We took pepper soup. I took Hollandia. Hollandia. So right now we are coming to the other part of the mummy. This is actually the front part, but we entered through the back. And this part is also like the happening place. You can see the shoe cobbler. You can see like yeah. maybe someone that just sells random chips so and stuff. Suya, we buy chips. This is for Suya Shawarma barbecue and some other stuff. This is like a it's a game house. And guys watch guys watch football. Guys and they, play games. and they play games, bro. I've never been there. So this is where we mostly come, all these places to buy noodles, to buy spaghetti, to buy pasta. Okay, to buy noodles, pasta or spaghetti, to buy yam. 
cake, bread, cake, and these are like the tailors and like that you um, just use shoes and it's stressful. <laughs> And this is like, oh, obviously you can see what I'm showing you. So they are selling the fruit. fruit. We never bought the fruit juice because uh -huh. it was like overly expensive. Maybe we will try to buy before we leave. Which is that? This is where we bought our carnival day attire, and it was really nice. And then we bought our beautiful. This is basically where we buy our own noodles and spaghetti, and it's nice. So you can see that we have everything you want at Mami. Ah, Milo Lefekara. That's the woman that we bought clothes from her and she's asking us if we want more. <laughs> so basically like at the hairdressing side, like hairdressing and this one is just random provisions. And then this is house side mammy. So this is like the entrance of mammy. We initially went into the back side. So can you see the laundry once again? So we went into that place. We didn't pass this place. So we came out like merry go round. So that, let's keep doing it. I don't know what they are building here, but it's a new building and throughout our nice. stay, we never had the no, chance no, to like go inside. But I don't I think, think for, the open, next, no for the next batch, they are going to start making use of it. Maybe I'm for Saeed. So sure. you know. Saeed is what? Skills, acquisition, and entrepreneurial uh, development. How come you don't know them? Ah, ah, mama, I, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? I didn't know them. I'm I was expecting you to talk now. Ah, ah, why? Let <laughs> me say it again. If it's short for you. <laughs> Skill, acquisition, entrepreneur. I don't even think it's entrepreneur. It's entrepreneur. Okay, okay, so we've we'll come to the end of showing you mommy. So we're going to show you the hostel. We're going to be seeing the hostel next. How the hostel looks like. Like the female hostel, obviously. That's I have recorded the hostel, but then because people are always like undressed, but now it's such a lucky time. Everyone is dressed. So, this is our hostel block one, and that's block two, and that's block three. I think this is block four, yeah, this is block five, five, six, five, six, and I think that's yeah. like stuff. So, our roommates, okay. laugh. Why is she coming up here? Basically, this is where we fetch water. We're not going far. We're not going far. This is where we fetch water. And basically, this is this is where we wash clothes. And you know, just laundry side. And then that's where we spread clothes. I don't want to go too far because you know, people might not like like to be in video. So I, how are you feeling? I'm just going to be showing legs. So we do our laundry, like spread our stuff. This is our bathroom and toilet. But then it's not open. watching we've come to the end of the video and please if you like this video please subscribe to our subscribe to my channel and please um, share the video with your friends hope you enjoyed it. we hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed yet and share this video you don't know maybe your friends or someone your who spouse to, your spouse might be in this camp and then um, just thank you for watching bye yeah. stay tuned <laughs>